Hi everyone, I recently redid my rat cage. If you're familiar with my rat cage, it is really tall, like it almost touches the ceiling. And I have three rats named Alfred, Oliver, and Pip, and I like to do cage themes every so often. This is my favorite theme yet. The layout is so fun, and I really enjoy watching them explore. I'm gonna give a tour of the enclosure and I'm also gonna show them exploring it for the first time. I know rat content isn't like everyone's favorite here. They like, they follow me for reptiles, they like geckos. And so if you're watching this, just know that like, I appreciate you, you're the best. And my rats appreciate you too. There's Pippi right now climbing down the cage. Hi buddy. <laughs> hi friend, oh, it's me Goofy. It's me, hi. Pippi, he's so good. Pippi, um, He's, he's really good at like flying down this cage. I know, I'm looking right at you, how you doing? Let's see if I can show him, but I'm freaking out. Pippi, oh, there he goes. On the rope, goodbye. Yeah, he's great. So yeah, there's not much to say about this other than let's go ahead and show you the rat cage. I hope you enjoy. Okay, everyone, so I have the flash on and the bedroom light so you guys can see easier, um, but this is the entirety of the cage. Don't mind Jackson, he's growling at something or other. Um, and it's in my bedroom, so it might look quite different from the pet room and that is why. To make this as quick as possible, I'm going to leave links for everything in the description that way I don't have to like go into depth and explain where everything came from. But I will list what each thing is and then of course in the description I will list where I got it. So let's go ahead, we'll start down here. Hello, you don't mind the flash being on Pippi? Hello Pippi. Actually we'll turn the flash off just for them while I'm down here. That's a little bit better, huh? Hi Pippi Doodle. You want banana chip? Here you go. <gasps> come on Alfred. Come on, you gotta come to me. I gotta get Oliver next, come on. It's right here. Hey, doofus. It's over here. There you go. Oliver. There you go. Okay, so those are my rats. Uh, there's Oliver. You guys saw Pip already. He's the got the most bold personality. And then Alfred. Alfred's like very jumpy. Oliver is very shy. And Pip is very bold. So this is a triple critter nation. It is literally a double critter nation with another one stacked on top. And I would do it like um, horizontally, but I don't have the space in my bedroom. I only have the space to go vertically. So I wanted to give them more space. So I had to go up. It has acrylic pieces um, on the bottom and then on all the sides to hold in multiple inches of bedding. Now this is on the outside so they can't reach it, but that's just to hold it in place because some of the parts are like mismatching because um, these are just leftover pieces of acrylic I had from my leopard gecko bookshelves. The substrate is KT Clean and Cozy and I had other colors in here as you can see, but like whatever they have in the store at the time is what I get. So it doesn't really match all that well to everything going on up here, um, but it is what it is. I would open this door, however, this hammock is on here, so I have to take it down like that to open it. It's the only one in the cage that's like that, um, but there was just nowhere else to hang this, so I had to do it like that. This is a pink hammock I got from Chewy. I can't remember the brand, but it's like a, like a normal pet brand. Again, I'll link it down below. This is a little blue igloo, and then a purple one. As you can see, they bury them, which they do and undo every night. So like in the morning they're buried, and then at night they unbury them to get inside of them and hide food and stuff. This is a wide tunnel that connects, so all these are connecting parts. And so this is Oliver's favorite thing in the whole wide world. Oliver loves this tunnel with his whole life, his whole heart, he just loves it to bits. This is their, um, foraging wheel it's where i keep their food as you can see they can reach their little hands in there and pull the food out it's just a more interactive way for them to get their food and i also sometimes scatter feed so like if i'm giving them oats or if i'm giving them treats at night i will scatter feed it in the bedding so they have to like forage for it to get it and then this is a green or teal space pod also called a sputnik a lot of the hammocks you see in here are going to be from two stores. I will include them down below. Make sure you check them out. This one is from Simply Ratty. Some of the other ones are from Honeycomb Hideaways. And I will say which one's which when I go along. But just keep that in mind that I, I support both of those stores. This did not come from either of those. This is like not like a homemade one or not like anything spectacular. It's just a regular old hammock. But it was pink and I wanted to include pink. So in the second level, we have hammocks. I think this one and this one are from Honeycomb Hideaways. This one is from Simply Ratty. Also, Pip peed on it before I came down. Love that. And then I have a hanging basket here. This was something that came with the cage that like you put on the ladders, but I don't have the ladders in here, so I just throw it in there. And then there's another basket, purple one. Both those came from the dollar store. Oh yeah, this big rope here 
I don't know if you'll be able to find it. I got it from a local pet store here and it's like obviously made for dogs, um, but it's a really thick, sturdy rope and I hung it so that they could run across it and have a good time. This big tunnel in the back is like a bendable, flexible tunnel. I wasn't sure if they'd actually use it, but it's been well over a month since I put the cage together and they do use these tunnels, particularly this blue one. He wants more food. Hi, Snacky boy. Okay, so then here's another one of those ropes. Here is a lava ledge. There's a couple of those throughout the enclosure. Here's another lava ledge. There's a painting of a rat back there. Um, there's a blue tunnel, which is the same as the purple one. I got both of those from, I think I ordered them online and I will, again, will include a link for everything like I've said a million times. Step stool out, cause we're getting up higher in the cage. Look, Pippi. Hey bud. They do use the inside and the outside of the tunnel, which I think is hilarious. But anyway, so back to the cage tour. All right, Pippi, back to the cage tour. Yes. <laughs> this hammock right here is a like tri-level or bunk bed hammock. I'm not sure like what exactly they're called, but it's from Simply Ratty. Sir, can you please stay in the cage while we're doing the tour? Thank you. And then, <laughs> hi. Hi, he's so big. So again, Simply Ratty. This one is from Honeycomb Hideaways and it's like a, it's a tube so they can go through it. Then there's another lava ledge. Then there's another tunnel, which again, I will include a link for. <laughs> Dude, you're gonna fall. You're the worst at climbing. Sir, sir, this is not a good idea, sir. Yes, head back inside, please. Thank you, my little adventure. So then this hammock is um, from Simply Ratty. That hammock is from Simply Ratty. This is a rope bridge. It's actually three. So there's one here, one here, and one here that I've connected that I've connected um, and it's from Amazon. All three of them are. And then this, they have absolutely demolished since I put it in. In fact, it doesn't have like strings up here anymore. They tore the roof off and they live inside the roof. They also tore the bottom off like in the corners, um, but it is a cube from Simply Ratty. Then this is a little, which I don't even know what you call that. It's like a little flat top and then down here is like an inside. And uh, this was from Honeycomb Hideaways. They love it. These are their two favorite things to sleep in. They also love their space pods or Sputniks or whatever you call them. And I got those on Amazon as well. And I think that's pretty much everything. So definitely quite the interactive cage. Yeah, sweet boy. And um, they have four water bottles. So there's one up here and there's one back there, and there's one over here, and then there's one that goes down here, but obviously the door's open right now. And yeah, that's everything in the cage. They also have a couple chews I didn't cover. One chew is here, one chew's there, and then ouch, I just hit my elbow. And then they also have all of these, which they chew on, and then they have chews. Sometimes they'll get buried in the substrate. Oh my goodness, y'all are so messy. They left broccoli in here. Anyways, messy boys, you know how it is. But yeah, that's the entire cage, and I'm gonna show you guys them exploring it. <laughs> Just like Pip is actually showing off right now. Hi, cute boy. He's like, wait a minute, you cleaned this. Yeah, I did, I cleaned the cage yesterday. Hi, buddy. Okay, goodbye.
my babies. Look, look at these faces. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> You're so cute. One. Do you want a snack? Come on. I cannot reach you. Do you want a snack or not? <laughs> Two. Three. I'm so short in this cage, it's so tall. Like they're all gonna go run off and eat their snacks. Goodbye. Goodbye. There's Oliver. Alfred. Pip. Where are you running to, Pippi? There's plenty of spaces to eat it in this cage. It's huge. <laughs> Pippi. There you go. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> there he is. You gonna eat your snack? So see that rope in the middle of the rat cage? Well, Jackson wanted one so bad that I got him one. Don't mind on my floor, it's dirty, but I got him one, yes. Oh, he found a snack. You got this, come on. How you doing, Alfred? He's like, do you have a treat for me or can I just keep ignoring you? Because unless you have food, I'm not really interested in you, lady. Hi, <laughs> baby. Good sneeze. Oh, here comes your brother. Big and clumsy. I just cleaned the cage, so they're just exploring it. Hi. Hi, you see your brother? Huh? <laughs> Where's your last brother? Where's he at? Look, he's gonna run the rope. I love when they do that. He's going down. Hi. You guys want banana chips? Here you go. Hold on, I'll bring it to you. Here you go. Where's your brother? Alfred, or I mean, Oliver. Alfie's in this tunnel. Alfie. Come on, let's show the people your face. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> the most shy boy there ever was. Also, don't worry, that's just pumpkin on top of their house. They like a good little pumpkin snack from time to time. How you doing, Bubba? You enjoying your banana chip? Where's, uh... Oh, you finished yours already, huh, Chunky? Huh, Chunky? You want more, huh, Chunky? I don't have more for you. You already had one. Go eat your other snacks. I left you some veggies. Goodbye! That was my outer space themed rat cage. I really hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. If you are interested, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!